ever looked at a hole from the tee box and gone, wow, where am I supposed to hit that shot? Assuming there is a hole there, we're gonna show you how. Don't be scared. Okay, here we go. Uh -huh. uh, a little bit of a pressure shot here. You're on the 18th hole, super famous, Pebble Beach. You got the mystique, the ambiance. You the got tree. seagulls, you got billion dollar homes, and you really, really want to hit a good tee shot and you're nervous about it. How do we line up for this? You know what's funny? You say you want to hit a good tee shot. I just don't want to hit it in the water. Just don't hit I it in the water. I don't care about it. Just don't hit it <laughs> in the water. I don't want to have to climb down there, even though I might have before. So how do we not hit it in the water? How do we give ourselves the best chance not to hit it in the water? Pitching wedge. Yeah, chip it about 175 <laughs> yards straight out in front of you. The, um, you know, you kind of start looking at angles and these things, how it opens up more of a view of the hole. So this hole kind of drags left along the coastline. So it's not really a dog leg left. It just kind of fairway goes that direction a little bit. Right. It's not a true bend in it. Um, and then the thing that we're, now take all the factors, <laughs> there's also OB pretty tight. This is not an easy golf hole. Mm -mm. But the big thing that we're seeing that's right in front of you is this ocean over here to the left. Right. So kind of a, a theory here of whenever we wanna open some of that up is that we wanna tend to tee the ball up to the side of the trouble so that we're right. hitting away from the trouble and it tends to open up angles a little bit more, at least to your eye, gives you a little more space over there. Which honestly too, is kind of counterintuitive to most people because most people would sit here, look at this hole and go, I don't want to stand anywhere near that ledge. I need to get over here to I the right. I want to stay far away, away from it at all times, right? And I want to hit over here. Well, whenever you scoot all the way to the right. You actually be more of it in the play. You just got rid of this side of the golf course because now you're just looking straight left. Right. And, and, and where all that the trouble said, is. The realistic side of that is it's it's a visual perception. You're not really changing anything, obviously. No. But if you have that visual perception of setting up further on the left side of the tee box, as Aaron is kind of starting to show you, like you start to see more and more of that right and less and less of the left as Aaron kind of slowly scooches that to the left. That uh, makes you a little bit more. Put it right on top of that little fancy US Open. Straight away at it. That like might be my just... favorite US Open logo. Sorry. It ADD, is cool with the, the lone, lone Cypress, Cypress up there. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, back to this. So now, instead of us looking at a fairway that is kind of tailing away from us, now we're looking more at a fairway right. that's just straight in front of us. Now it's, it's just a distance game to clear that sure. ledge instead of a distance game and uh, make sure I don't tail it off to the left a little bit because say, things start to go away from us. A whole other set of lines. Yeah. <laughs> lines rule golf, whether it's your golf swing and the swing mechanics or your lines on the golf course as far as how you play Picking it, a so. line, playing a line, sticking with a line, trusting right. a line. So we are at sea level, so the ball is not traveling quite as far mm -hmm. as we found out in our course vlogs. If you're curious of how that went, it went poorly. Yeah, we played terrible. Check those videos out when you're done with this one. Yeah, we ain't good. Uh, where are you going here? Oh, you're gonna move it up there. Gotcha. I'm move you somewhere in that direction, so we know you got 303 to get through yeah. the fairway. But on that line, you only have really because we're going pretty straight ahead. Right. You know, if we look right. Right there, you got 198 to clear it. S sound effects by Aaron. Boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, boop. <laughs> That's his track man noise. Yep, exactly. So, so then the second question becomes now is, okay, well, advanced players, you're gonna start talking about curvature of golf ball. How am mm -hmm. I gonna play? So, you know, with this hole being pretty hard, I would say straight is your key thing, but hit what you're most comfortable with. Yeah. I'm a draw player. So typically I wanna see that ball move five-ish yards right to left. So for me, I would take it on that line you actually picked, but I would actually try to move it just a little bit left, but not much. I know that's counterintuitive. Most people don't want to hit it toward, you don't want to curve it towards. Yeah, away from trouble. Trouble, but quite frankly, there's trouble everywhere. Yeah, this Because if I pump this right, I'm going to be OB. Mm -hmm. If I snap it left, I get to go visit uh, Nemo. Yeah, a little Davy Jones locker there. <laughs> so don't do that, just hit it straight. Just hit it straight, Aaron says. Thanks, caddy. <laughs> yeah. You want to hit it out there in the short grass? <laughs> see that fairway, see that little tree? You want to be right past that little tree. Right there? Uh-oh, I might have hit it too much hook. Mm. Not <laughs> an exact science by any stretch of the term. I hate golf. 
Actually, this uh, this goes hand in hand with how we played the round of golf, actually. And. Hooey. See if you can hit the fairway, bro. Thanks, man. What'd you change there? Absolutely nothing. Oh, okay. The That's spot not... is the spot is where it is. You just gotta hit it straight. <laughs> Ew. Oh, I did it again. <clears throat> Can't help a hooker. Wow. Unless it's pretty woman. Which hooker case you of can. the golf ball. <laughs> yeah, hit one straight here, dude. You didn't hit you didn't hit one big hook while we were playing. No, I didn't. I don't know what happened there. Give me beer. I got beer. Got all loosey goosey over here. Uh oh. Really? Okay, good. Bonk. I took a lot off of that. Still got almost 300 yards, but. So, what did you notice there? The first two, I obviously. Yeah, I, I mean, changed the first, line. For, yeah, first two, you just started them too far left. If um, I was gonna do that, if, obviously yeah. that's the question mark is are you consistent enough to do that mm -hmm. repeatedly? I know that I draw the ball. In fact, those first two on top of each other in the water. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty tight, uh, pretty tight little pattern you got going on over there to the so left. So I deadened it a little bit, but I also aimed a hair right from mm -hmm. your line. So I took it closer to that tree. To the tree. And knew I was gonna draw it hopefully less. It turned out to be that way. Yep. And it ended up in a pretty good spot. So it's finding the safest play. and. I mean, again, to be honest on this hole, if you, by the time you get to 18, you should hopefully know which way the golf ball's going. And if you don't, yeah. then you need to be playing this golf ball way short of that to somewhere in this fat area right here in the uh, 200 yard range. And, ooh, laser beam. Don't do ooh, that either. Stay up, stay up. And I hit your computer, I'm sorry. You can, that play, was, you can play that one as it lies. That was off the deck, sir. <laughs> But yeah, so you can play it right out there, 206-ish, and then it's a three-shot hole. That. There you go. No, oh, maybe not that. Yeah. No, that'll work. Uh, yeah, it'll work. Huh. I'm so not very good got, with the driver off the deck. You got 300 into that green, so then you take another 175 to 200 yard shot, and you got to, you just played a three-shot par five. So course well, management, knowing that, hey, okay, where we're at, but, Tendency is going to be to wherever the, the most trouble is, or the scariest part of the golf course, you want to tee up towards mm -hmm. that side and aim a little bit away from it. And again, that will just hopefully help your look better at your eye. Right. And it's going to be opened up a little bit. Yeah, definitely. So give that a try in your local golf course, wherever mm -hmm. you're playing. Uh, if you're in here, obviously you can move like Aaron did. We were to the right. I don't know if you can move it in gameplay. You play. can't move it in gameplay. No, then aim right. <laughs> yep, click over there. Right. Safe. But try it out y'all's course whenever y'all go play, uh, maybe over Thanksgiving. Happy, whatever we are. This is probably like the next this week after Thanksgiving. after Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Yeah, I hope Thanksgiving was good for you. Got to see your family, everybody's uh, safe and healthy. But uh, awesome. Thank you all for checking in. See you later.